Good evening, friends. Today, I am going to uh, tell you the same story you might have heard hundred times from your childhood. The story of prodigal son. Uh, it is in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, 11 to 32. Don't worry, I'm not going to read the whole story because you it is a famous story and uh, everyone knows about it. There is something about this story that bothered me for a long time. And it is uh, about the old elder son who got angry when, when uh, he heard about the party is going on in the family. And, and I, I was wondering that the brother, uh, the brother of prodigal son has a right. I mean, he was right. He did everything right. He never did anything wrong. But then God taught me about the whole, the, 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 the reason Jesus told about the story. The reason is Jesus wants us to understand the heart of a father and heart of the father God. If we understand this, this heart, it makes a big change. So let me start with this story. I'm not going to read as I said earlier, but uh, let us focus on verse 12 where the younger son says, the father, give me my portion of the property or the estate. Now, if you understand that culture, the, the estate can be divided am uh, among brothers only after father died. So in another words, this younger brother, younger son is saying, Father, I don't care. You die. I, I don't care. But give me the portion which belongs to me. Now, it is amazing the father doesn't say nothing. He just simply give the portion of his estate to this younger son. And we know that uh, what happened. He goes far land. He's he wasted all his money. Now he has nothing to eat, and he uh, goes and starts. It. Uh, he was wished. He wished that he would eat what the pigs are eating, and now in verse 17, he caught his sense, and he says that to himself that my father's house is so full that his my father's servants has plenty of to eat. Verse 18, he says that now what I will do. I'll go to my father and I'll say the father I have sinned against you and heaven. Now did you catch the things? The whole thing until now until uh, until this point in the story this prodigal son is acknowledging his father as my father. Father give it to me. There is plenty of food in the house of my father. I will go to my father. I think he got this sense that he is coming to the point when he knows that how much his father loves him. And then the amazing things happens on verse 20. Now the son is going back to his father and he was still far away and father ran to greet him and he hugged him and he kisses him. Now did you realize that he has not said the repentance prayer yet. He has not said that, Father, I have sins against you. And before he say this repentance prayer, before he said that, Father, I have sins against you, Father hugs him and kisses him. We got it wrong. We, we always expect that, that once we repent, then God will love me. Well, Jesus wants to, uh, us to understand that he loves us before we confess our sins. His love is so big. We don't understand. We, we got it all wrong. And uh, that same kind of story uh, we have in um, John chapter 8, uh, uh, where it's a, uh, it's a story about the woman who was caught in adultery and, and the people brought to Jesus and they said we should stone her. And at the end of the story, you know what happened. Everybody left. Jesus said that anyone who has not seen, committed sin can cast the first stone. And everybody left. Now, 
who is left, Jesus and, and the woman. And Jesus says that, daughter, where are they? And she said that, there is no one, Lord. And, the, and Jesus said that, I am also not condemning you. Go sin no more. Did you catch that? Jesus said, first, I'm not condemning you. Now sin no more. We always got it wrong, backwards. We said that sin no more, then I will not condemn you. Where Jesus saying, no, I am not condemning you. Now sin no more. What will happen? When we learn that somebody loves us so much, so much, knowing that we have done wrong and still they love us, then it will change our attitude and it changes that we will not do, the, 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 the love changes us and prevent us from doing wrong again. And that's why Jesus said that I'm condemning you, no, I'm not condemning you. Now it, that love will enable you not to sin anymore. We got it wrong, my friends. Now let's talk about the older brother. He says to his father, that I have worked in your field so long. I have always obeyed your uh, commands, but you never give me anything. Now, did you catch it? He said that I have worked so hard. I have followed all your rules and regulations. I have always obeyed you. In a sense, he's saying that now I have earned the right to get something. Well, father says, son, this was already yours. Why don't you don't realize that I love you and that's why it is yours. You don't have to earn it. And my friends, me and you do the same thing. If we want God's favor, we think that we have to do all things right. We have to follow all the laws. We have to make sure that we doesn't mess up. And then we earn the right to get God's favor. Where God says that, no, 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 I love you. And that's why I will provide you my favor. You know, when you earn something, it's no longer a relationship of, of a father and son. It's a relationship between a master and servant. The servant works and he earns the right to get his wages. Where son, but because father loves him, so whatever father has belongs to son. Friends, I hope that now going forward, you realize that the good works are the fruit when we realize how much God loves us. The good works are not the roots to earn God's favor. Whenever you, whenever you think about how Jesus is, how much God the Father loves you, it makes the whole change in your life. Jesus told this story for a very specific reason that we understand the, the heart of a father that he is not an angry God, but he is a father he, who wants to have a relationship with you and me. Jesus loves you. And he tells us that I am not condemning you. And that love will empower you to sin no more. Just like prodigal son, he got all wrong. He got one thing right. He always calls his father, my father. Older brother did everything right by following all laws, but he never addressed his father as my father. I hope that we can, we can rely on God's love and we look at him as God who loves me so much and he will do great things for me. God bless you and thank you.